All right, let's see what we got here. The top 25 schedule of week one, North Carolina. Pull that upset. They actually did. Wow. And the national champions, the defending national champions, win against Akron week one by 12 points at home. And we prove that the group of five conference can compete with anyone on any given day. UCF Knights deserve to be in the playoffs next year, no matter what. UCF can play with anybody in the nation, so can our conference. So we deserve more respect. Do you honestly think you're fucking funny? Seriously. Hawaii? You're at home against USC. Can you pull this upset on a nationally broadcasted nope. game and you get absolutely fucking destroyed? Florida Atlantic, Lane Kiffin, can y'all pull off the upset of Mark Rick to Miami Hurricanes? Like the worst team in the ACC? On a regional broadcast game? Let's see. And you guys kind of get demolished. I mean, it wasn't that bad. I'll give you that. It was 10 to 3 going into fourth quarter. Well, no match for Buffalo here. Here we go. Now we got some ranked versus ranked games. We got Mississippi State going up against Oklahoma State in the Texas Kickoff Classic. Who is going to win? Let's simulate. And it turns out to be Mississippi State. They put enough points without Dan Mullen to beat the high-scoring Oklahoma State. Um, Oklahoma State, whatever. What is their name? The Cowboys. The Oklahoma State Cowboys. There we go. Mississippi State with a good start to the season. Ah, uh, here we go. I finally found the big game of the week. Number 17, Virginia Tech going up against the number one Alabama Crimson Tide. Can Virginia Tech pull off the unthinkable, something that Florida State couldn't do in real life? Can they beat Alabama in the Chick-fil-A kickoff game week one? And no, they can't. Got him. Wow, what a disappointment. Got him. There we go. Florida State demolishes them. The best team in college football, no doubt about it. And of course, last but not least, the Louisiana Lafayette Raging Cajuns going up against the third ranked Georgia Bulldogs. The last chance for an upset here in week one. Can they do it? I don't think they can, but we'll find out. Bro, these uniforms are kind of sick. I'm not going to lie. Holy shit. Hold on. Let me look through these uniforms real quick. How many uniforms have we got? God damn. Oh shit. So we got like what eight uniforms to choose from? Let's pick these. I like the all white. Let's go. What the hell? Alright, there we go. All white week one. Let's see what George is wearing. Of course they're wearing that ugly ass fucking the same uniform. Oh, hold on, bro. Hold on. What do I want? No, let's just let them. And here we go, boys. The starting quarterback for the Louisiana Lafayette Raging Cajuns, Jordan Davis, the junior. He's looking to spark his career and the season for the Louisiana Lafayette Raging Cajuns by beating the third-ranked Georgia Bulldogs here on the road. The last chance for an upset in week one, as I mentioned earlier. And let's go ahead and get into some gameplay. And we don't even win the coin toss. Great. Here we go, boys. We're starting the season out on offense. Can we return it to the house? We'll find out. Come on, Jackson. We need an early start here. We need a good return. We need to beat these Bulldogs. Let's see. And we get to around the, like what, the 26th? There I am. Look at that beast right there. He's going to turn around this program, bring him a national championship. Y'all just watch. Oh, shit. We got the squiggly lines. Damn, this crowd's hype. Our, our starting quarterback has the impact star on him. So, like, that means he's a beast. Run the counter and no blocks. Great job, offensive line. So uh, since our offensive line can't block for shit, we're going to have to pass the ball here on 2nd and 10. And we got a little uh, PA read here, I think it's called. Can we get that? Oh my god, it's intercepted by their impact star corner, like their best player on the team. Is he going to take it back? No. What a great start. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better start for Louisiana Lafayette to this season. Here we go, Walker. Come on now. Are they going to run it again? No, they're going to throw it. What do they got going? Oh, it's a screen. I didn't even see that. Oh, my God. I was looking at the other side, and I didn't even see that. Well, touchdown for Georgia. Damn. Well, didn't do anything on that return. We're running the inside zone here. Hopefully, we can get some blocks and probably take this for, like, 10 yards or something. Let's see. We got a block right there, and we couldn't get through the hole. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I'm looking for X our best receiver and he falls forward for the first down let's go 
more squiggly lines. We've calmed this crowd down. All right. No, I'm not going to get him. Dude, our quarterback's kind of fast. I'm not going to lie. Oh, I slid too early, dude. I didn't think that the X receiver was going to pick up that block right there. That's my fault. Let's see if we can break this. Oh I, oh, I pitched that at a risky time. Oh, what a juke. And he has no acceleration. Every single time. And the blocks aren't right. You see, a guy's got to block the guy at the middle, and then the running back gets the little safety outside, and you break that thing almost every single time. All right, here we go, boys. No, I'm, I'm, I'm blitzing here. Because I know DeAndre Swift's about to get a uh, hand off, and, and that's exactly what happens. I'm going to see if our cornerbacks can actually cover some good wide receivers. And they're in empty. Let's see. Oh, and we can't cover anybody. Yeah. And we still can't stop it. Get your ass over here, DeAndre. Damn. Come on, get to that outside. Oh my god, you have to be kidding me. How does that happen, bro? This game is so cheesy. I swear, when you have this shit on Heisman, they, they don't get tackled. Alright, well, it's 14-0. We're falling behind early. It's not even the second quarter yet, and we're already getting fucking smacked around. And uh, what kind of juke was that? I mean, that was, that was pointless. That didn't work at all. There we go. I got something, even though it was like three yards. Let's go some short passes here. Maybe we can scramble out of the pocket a little bit. Yeah, we got a guy open right there. And he can't even catch. He's the best receiver on the team, and he can't catch. All right, I don't know what we're going to hit. If it's man coverage, we're probably going to look at Y. If not, we're going to look at uh, the slant coming across the middle. And now uh, we got the halfback out of the backfield. Get that first down. Run that man over. Let's go. Well, that's the end of the first quarter. Down 14 nothing. It's probably going to get worse going forward. Hopefully not, though. Can we get another short pass here? Can Malone actually catch the ball if he's open? Let's see. Oh, we got A wide open. What a bat. What kind of pass was that? That almost got intercepted because he, like, literally threw it to the defender. Oh, oh we got the running back out of the fuck. What the fuck is that? Hold on, bro. What, what was that as a play? What is that? I threw it to the running back. It ends up going to the wide receiver, like Malone, and he drops his second ball of the day, and he's even more open than the last time. Look at this. Look, I threw it right here, and the ball ended up, like, right there. Look, you see? He completely misses it. But anyways, he should have caught that. Look at this. He's wide open, and he drops it. But we need to get some points here on this drive. Let's see. We got a guy open, and that's Malone. He actually caught it this time. So on this play, I'm trying to get my quarterback to scramble. Hopefully it works and possibly hit wide. I don't know if he's accurate. He's not accurate in the pocket, obviously, so I don't think he'll be accurate on the run. We got Y though, and he fumbled the ball. Come on, O-line. God. We're going to have to come up and make that tackle. He still gets six yards though, so like that's not a very good play for us. Either if it's a zone blitz or, or not. Can we come up and make that hit? Man, make that tackle. What are we doing, guys? We cannot tackle for anything right now. And once again, DeAndre Swift just completely burns us, and we are now down 21 to nothing. And no one's open. I guess I'll just hit you, Malone. And it's now fourth and six. I'm going for it. Actually, I don't know because it's almost halftime. It looks good to me. Come on. Oh, he's oh he's not open at all. What was I thinking? DeAndre Swift's getting the ball here. I already know. Yep. Tackle in the backfield. There we go. That's how we stop a run. Hopefully, we can hold him to three. Actually, I don't know. Oh, they're not. All right, he throws it away. There we go. We finally get a stop. We hold him to three. Maybe we can get the ball back and score right before halftime. And then things could possibly be looking up for us. If it's man coverage, which I think it is, then I'm going to look to hit Malone. Yeah, it is. All right. There we go. Malone's wide open. Juke him. Oh, I didn't double juke, bro. If I double juked, I could have got both of them. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, shit. I threw that late. Oh, my God, dude. I, that's on me. I threw it way too late. Come on, defense. All right, good job, safety. Way to cover your zone. Way to cover your zone. What a amazing job by you. Come on, defense. We got to hold them. No, no way. Are you kidding me, dude? You got to be kidding me. Well, it's halftime, and we're getting absolutely fucking destroyed. Let's cover that hole. Man, that block is key. There we go. All right, we finally stop him on first down. Pick that off. Oh, my God, he dropped it. He dropped it. I accidentally pressed circle there and like clicked off of him, but he dropped that. That that would have been an easy pick six. Come on, bro. You have to catch that. Alright, there we go. We stop him. Finally force a punt, a three and out coming out of the break. 
that's what I want to see from this defense hopefully we can score a touchdown on offense all right he picks up five he falls forward for like three more yards so I'll take it all right third and five here We're running the quick slant no, nothing's open. Can I? No, I can't get that. All right, we're going for it, guys. Let's see. Nothing's open, of course. Uh oh, we caught. We could scramble for that. Come on, let's get that first. Let's go. Uh oh, RB's open. Good throw. All right. Uh, that runner or that blitzer just came straight up the middle. Oh, we got X open. I saw that coming. Let's go. I don't know who's gonna be open. Looks like it's gonna be no one. No one's open. Holy shit. Really, nigga? Nothing. Oh, wait. Maybe we can scramble. Nothing. Back of the end zone. Touchdown. Let's go, Bradley. Nice throw by Davis. Nice catch by Bradley. And it's the first touchdown for Louisiana Lafayette this season. Dude's killed us all day. Oh, it's read option. Come on, make that tackle. How can you not tackle the quarterback, bro? Come on now. But we got the ball back on offense. The sad thing is that Georgia scored a touchdown. So, I mean, obviously no chance in this game, but I'm looking to get some coach upgrades here. Score some touchdowns, score some more points. We got Bradley wide open. Uh, we're in uh, zone coverage again. We got B open. There we go, Barnes. And it is, man. Come on, catch that. Good throw, Davis. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, we got wide open. Touchdown. Let's go. Is that Jaquette? Is that my boy Jaquette with the touchdown? Well, that's our second touchdown of the game, so this offense in the second half has looked a lot better. So, that is the game. We get absolutely smacked by the third-ranked Georgia Bulldogs, but coming into this game, obviously, you know, we expected to lose. We're not good, and we're going up against one of the best teams in the nation. You know, the, the national they played in the national championship last year. They started off ranked three, and uh, in the second half, I actually liked how our offense came out and scored two touchdowns, but, you know, our defense needs to improve. We gave up, what, 31 in the first half, and then we gave up... Uh, seven points in the second half so we actually outscored them in the second half but we just got to cut down on the points given up by the defense and we'll be good I mean you know we didn't we looked bad but we didn't look terrible and I definitely think that we can come back next game and get a victory so here are the stats on on the day 16 for 27 220 yards two touchdowns two interceptions I think he fumbled once too uh, I mean you know going up against basically NFL defense it's not it's not bad, especially not for a guy that's on Louisiana Lafayette and doesn't play teams like this. Our running back didn't do shit. 10, yard, or 10 carries, 10 yards. He averaged one yard a carry. Um, or no, that was our quarterback. Uh, Trey Ragas, our actual running back, had 8 carries, 23 yards, averaged 2.8. His longest run was 8 yards. Yeah, wait, hold on. Our quarterback fumbled twice. I don't think, I don't think he lost both of them. I think he only lost one. So uh, looking at the receiving stats now, Jamarcus Bradley had a big game, six catches, 73 yards, a touchdown, averaged 12.1 yards a catch. Raheem Malone, five catches, 80 yards, no touchdowns, did have two drops at the beginning of the game. Kind of bounced back in the second half, caught every ball thrown to him. Keenan Barnes, two catches, 38 yards. And uh, yeah, everyone else just had one catch. I know Jaquit had a touchdown. Yeah, he did, an 11-yard touchdown to end the game. Oh, hold on, let me look at the defensive stats real quick. Mm, defense right there so TJ Posey the middle linebacker had six tackles did we have any sex no we didn't obviously no interceptions we should have had one uh, we had that one deflection by Venardo should have been a pick six possibly could have got the game a little bit closer could have been 31 21 possibly but you know we never know so yeah I'll see you guys in the main menu so you know obviously not a good start in week one not what we hope for but in week two we got a bye week, so you know we're gonna catch up on some recruiting, and then we got another tough game at number 18 LSU. They just lost to TCU though, so I don't think they'll be ranked, but still gonna be a hard matchup. Let's see how much the team improves going into week three. So next episode we are gonna be doing some recruiting. Um, that's probably gonna be the whole episode. Maybe scheduling some visits, looking at more scores around the country, the top 25 polls, the Heisman watch. So uh, yeah, that'll be in next episode. But I am straight FSU. And